good morning to all of you guys and uh, today's session is going to be the most important session uh, because in most of the interview uh, they are asking this ansible right uh, so please pay attention especially for this ansible right each and everything whatever i am explaining over here and uh, mostly tomorrow i am going to explain the project which i have done in uh, hcl correct uh, the server patching especially with the help of ansible right Hey, hi everyone. Attention India candidates. I am excited to announce 100 days of IT corporate bootcamp batch 5 is going to start from 9th of October. This training program is going to take you step by step from Linux, shell scripting, AWS cloud, DevOps tools, monitoring tools, automation tool with all real time projects. Everything you need it for job ready. Friends, seats are limited. Don't miss this opportunity and be the part of 100 days transformation journey. Link is in description. Enroll now. See you on 9th of October. Now listen here care carefully guys. Okay. What Kosik said, it's absolutely correct. Okay. But they are not going to tell you that Ansible, we know it's a configuration because we also call it as a CM uh, TU. Normally in my project, we have been named Ansible as a configuration management tool. Okay. Just understand this definition over here, what I have written about Ansible. First of all, Ansible is a open source automation. Again, Ansible provides a open source automation. This doesn't require any licensing, first of all. Okay, so this is an open source tool and it's used for automation purpose, not only for the configuration, right? But also it runs everywhere or anywhere. It can run, it can reduce the complexity and run everywhere or anywhere using Ansible. You can automate virtually any task what type of a task whether you want to install something whether you want to uninstall something whether you want to configure something whether you want to delete something right or even you can deploy your websites your application anything correct that is what called configuration management tool see provisioning is a different thing Kosik, what you have said the first part is correct the other part is not 100 percent correct the reason behind that one see if you have to provision something right infrastructure basically the networking and all right so for that you have to use terraform yes it it this is terraform is there okay so you we normally combine this terraform with the ansible i have done the same project i have done in my as i told you and that was the project which i was doing in the sap correct where i have deployed your complete see first part is the provisioning how you are going to provision a virtual machine or an instance you have seen right how to provision a instance you have seen i have already explained first you have to create the vpc then the subnets then the route table right what is that the provisioning of your networking and inside that you are provisioning your instance yes or no we have provision our instance right we have launched our instance right Correct. So that is we are going to do with the help of Terraform. So these two tools are very effective. So when you combine these two tools, especially Ansible and the Terraform, so provisioning has to be taken care by whom? By the Terraform. And the next one, it's going to be your Ansible. So yes, you have provisioned the VM, but what about the configuration part? Who is going to take care of the configuration part? So you have already seen in the previous session, I have told you if you have to install something, you can use shell scripting also. Yes or no? Yes or no? Correct? Yes, I have explained, right? If you have to install a normal website also, that I have also shown you with the help of shell scripting, right? You have to automate. So here also we need to automate, but with the help of Ansible that you are going to see right how we are going to automate with the help of instead of using shell scripting we can use the playbooks it's exactly same to same by end of this session you will say sir no hundred percent if you don't know about shell scripting if you don't know about linux you cannot learn ansible answer is simple i'm ready to write it down in stamp paper 
okay now understand why i am telling like this see i said right that reduces the complexity and runs everywhere or anywhere right using ansible you can automate virtually any task that's what we were doing in the shell scripting also right so here are some common use cases for ansible so eliminate repetition and simplify the workflow repetition means what right so eliminate the repetition so there also we were eliminating the repetition correct in shell scripting also if suppose if you have to install something right if you have to uninstall something if you have to configure something right so how we are doing we are using set of commands only linux commands only yes or no there also the repetition was there suppose you you have to install ftp server right or you have to configure dns server so or you have seen how we have uh, configuring the ssh authentication manually also i have shown you in ssh authentication the same thing if you wanted to do with the help of shell scripting we need to put the same inside the shell scripting which i have already explained in aws and i have given you the scripts also yes or no correct so same thing we are going to do it if you wanted to eliminate the repetition and simplify the workflow means there are set of workflow will be there ansible is not a technology or you can say it's not a language even with the playbooks what you write it those are the yaml files those are the set of instructions only those are not some kind of a language like java or php or c or dot net even not that much is there it's just a set of instructions correct so we need to follow some set of workflows will be there even if you that's what i said configuration management tool if you it's not only configuration part but you also can deploy any application any software any third party software you can deploy apache http you can deploy nginx you can deploy uh, any other like even you can deploy splunk even you, you can deploy grafana even you can deploy prometheus javix any configuration management tool right so and the last one even if you wanted to deploy any complex software right any kind of i am telling you the monitoring tools which i have already done you can do it with the help of ansible you can do the server patching also with the help of ansible and that is what nowadays most of the organization is trying to do it and i have already done it the project is there and that project only you have to mention in your resume that is more than enough to get selected also whatever you have learned that much and this even if you don't know kubernetes and docker fine by end of this one you will know each and everything but even if you go with this project that is more than sufficient to get if you understand this architecture everything is going to be easy for you see so in ansible there will be a controller node same like okay so let me launch over here first i am going to launch some instances over here right this is my instance which is already i have done it okay test i'm just giving the name simply okay this is our node okay i'm just uh, not renaming it and all if you want i'll rename it okay so for your better understanding you cannot getting like this so for you only i am making it as a controller node correct okay so in this one you can see i have already kept all those things over here and uh, so in this script first you have to update the system the same thing what we have done in our linux this is the script let me explain you about the script okay. one right and ch mod plus x and civil Right. Ansible installation. Right now, let's take the Mumbai. I said PEM file is also required. Mumbai open VPN dot PEM. This is what the name. Yes, this is what the name. Okay. Install Python three pip. Okay, fine. 
dependency and then you have to give same way in ansible also if you wanted to run something then you have to use ansible in git also if you wanted to use git i am talking about git not github okay so git if git administration if you wanted to do you wanted to git clone or you wanted to git pull and all so you have to use git command only understanding my points same thing we have to do it with the help of ansible so uptime is a linux command yes or no uptime is a linux command yes or no sir Correct. Enter. What I am getting? What I am getting here? The load average of what? 126. Okay. Let's log into the second manage nodes. Right. We are in there one slash team only. Okay. Just do LL. Here also I have created it. Correct. Now I have exited. Again I am king back to where? I am in the controller node. Right. And now I am going to delete these two files which we have just now seen. So instead of state equal to touch first you have done so if you have to uninstall something see or oh sorry delete something so there we are using rm hyphen rf command so here how you are going to do ansible all we are going to execute in all why i am using because in both the machine i am performing this task fine sure okay so guys uh, uh let's wind up the session here only thank you for staying connected with me Let's connect again tomorrow for the remaining topics of Ansible. Till then, just take care of yourself, your loved one. Bye-bye and Jai Hind.